Welcome, Milad. Welcome to Ifranten. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Appreciate you uh, that you made time for for this interview. It's always a pleasure. This is my first interview in English, so oh. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna have to be a little patient with me. Sure. Thank you so much, Milad. We're gonna start from the start. You're from Iran, is that right? Yes, I'm Iranian. Are you born and raised there? Yes. Okay. Okay. You grew up with both of your parents? No, when I was very young, my father passed away oh. uh, when I was 10 years old. And then uh, my sister also had an asthma. And then when I was 15 years old, my sister passed away and I grew up with my mom. How many siblings are you? Only two. My, I had one sister. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Your mother never so married now again? I'm, no, never. Okay. Yeah, okay. But we don't have this thing in our culture. Not normally women, when they lose their husband, yeah. always stay loyal and they love them so much too. You know, it's just like that. Can you explain how it was for you to grow up in Iran? Iran is really different. You know, we are different. We, we, in our schools, we are way uh, taught differently. And in Iran, it's not easy to live in. You know, it's very, very hard to live in. And the government is kind of uh, very harsh on people. And it's not a luxury life, for sure. What year are you from? How old are you? I'm um, 35, 1987. Try to explain as a kid, how was it, you know, to, to grow up that did to feel like that uh, it was a normal uh, childhood? Yeah, well, I, I had very, like, hip-hop, biggest hip-hop artist friends, which they moved to London because the government were chasing them, and very good friends that we all still together and we talk. But it's not easy to grow up in Iran, especially without a father. So, but thankfully my father left enough money in this big factory and stuff that we were always supported well. Yeah. Nice to hear. That's good to hear. What about education? Are you educated? Yes, I studied. Uh, so I studied all my primary school, high school in Iran. Then I moved to Dubai and I studied architecture there. But it was a time that I didn't go to school because of my father passed away and then my sister passed away. So it was really difficult, but I studied in architecture and I have a Bachelor of Architecture. You are located in D D D Dubai? So yes, I moved to Dubai to study and to see how it is. First I went there, I bought a car, went back to Iran and then I, I, I liked somehow I went to a university there and I studied five years in American University there. Okay. What year did you move to Dubai exactly? I think it was 2006 or seven. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you've been there for what, like 17, yeah, 16 years? Yes, easy. It's a long time, it's yes. a long time. Is it true that you have, you have some kind of boxing gyms there as a business? So yes, I do have a boxing gym. I have a four boxing gyms and that's what I do. Everybody knows me well. Four, that. four boxing yes. gyms. So I it's run, a chain. Yes, I run the biggest boxing events even in Dubai with some British people and I have four boxing gyms because that's my passion. That's what I love. Yeah. You're a former boxer yourself? Yes, I had many amateur fights, more than 100 amateur fights, and I have around 12 professional fights. Are you still getting into the ring? Uh, well, it if the money is right, yes. If not, no more. No more. Because my business needs a lot of focus and, uh, you know, I need to really work hard for it. I don't have a time to all the time train anymore. I don't want to put that time if there is no right money, especially that the fight getting cancelled and stuff very, very much, you know. That's expensive. Yeah. That's expensive. I know you've been married before. Yes. So I was married with my first girlfriend. I was when I was 17. I met a girl and we were together for many years. And then uh, there was some we had we have actually like my son is 11 years old. And we had uh, her parents, uh, her father faced a huge problem. He went, he was a very, very rich guy and he got bankrupt all of a sudden. And it was too much pressure for her kids. 
and then we had so much problems through uh, with with us they came to dubai to me and then they left dubai again and then i brought them to dubai again but she was very different you know she couldn't deal with the uh, hard life at all you know so she wanted the really 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 like because they were spoiled kids really rich I want four cars, I want this, I want a villa. And I was like, I have a business and we are building up slowly. So she couldn't handle it, you know. Yeah, okay. And that's okay. why we yeah, couldn't yeah. end up well. So she wanted you to provide this, that kind of lifestyle for her? Well, the, tr the problem is they actually try to really take my everything away from me. My home by, by, by power and force scamming because I started from zero in Dubai. I my, I my father had a factory which got uh, when I was like 18 years old got into fire and burned and the insurance paid us something which there were so many partner so with my share of money which came to me I bought a home in Dubai and I was boxing to make some money and then studying at the same time in a university so I sold when I when I have a baby I sold my home and I got, uh, I opened a first boxing gym and I was still fighting because that's the only thing I knew how to really make money. Architecture, they wouldn't allow me because of Iranians on a sanction. They wouldn't give me job. It was really hard, even though I graduated from a good university, even though I was trying with my professors, they were all PhD from Harvard and stuff, do some business. They were always helping me. I actually had a very good professor from South Korea. His name is Chulo Chang. We did many things. I was making at nights models, architectural models, and he would sell it to the students, which would share the money all the time. So, yeah, I built the boxing gym. And then slowly, slowly, I started really from nothing. They would all tell me you will fail, you know. But I made so much money after the first year. I bought my own Rolls Royce. And they were really, the parents, they were really, what's going on? You know, this guy is like, the guy, the father had a real, really big power back home, you know. And he was like kind of worried about somebody take over his place, you know. And then they started to really manipulate my wife to attack me. And then they took over, after this is a very long story, they took over my home. They didn't let me to see my son for two years just to oh try to take from me. It was really difficult. How uh, long did that marriage last? We were married like seven years, eight years, but we were friends for many years. You have a son from that relationship? Yes. How old is he now? 11. 11. 11. Why did you get a divorce? The main reason, is it because of, you know, the fights of... Uh... Yeah, we were, we were fighting a lot because her parents had a control. So I was sick and tired of somebody uh, changing all the time because the parents would tell different stories every day, like... Um, today everything is perfect and I would come home the night she's very upset and stressed because the father is trying to teach her something yeah. to impose in our family and I was really against that 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 actually destroyed our my yeah. first relationship but I learned that a lot from that okay one. Yeah. I understand that there's been some gossip about you not being divorced with this woman before engaging in a new relationship with Elvia? Oh, so let me tell you what's, what's going on. So we, me and my ex-wife, we were number one good friends and we were in a good relationship before things happened. But she was also very jealous. I was not able to even story anything other than a work, which is a gym place, and being with them, my family. I was not able. I mean, you're not allowed to do that because that was a boundary she, she drew for me in that relationship, and I was respecting it, you know. So when uh, we had problems, we got separated. I actually was dating another girl for some times. And then when she came to know uh, I am dating Elvira, then she really got furious over this and jealous really furious and Anna for me was like what's going on why she's showing this face actually she did she beat it herself and she went to the police and said i'm the i beat it her because i'm a boxer and she's a small girl i'm like if i really punch you you will not be alive you know so i had to go hire lawyers go to courts over it out of jealousy me and her, I have given her the full, when we got separated, I gave her a full power of getting divorced 
and uh, custody as well. I told her I never want to be with a woman because in our culture we are not allowed, to, uh, the woman not allowed to divorce. But so I gave her a, cost, a power that she can get divorced. I don't want to be with a woman who don't want to be with me and is with me by force, you know. So because I would see a lot of fight between her and her father over this because the father would force her and she maybe didn't want because of the problems we had. So I gave her them. So there was nothing like you say, you were not divorced. I went to the uh, consulate, I signed, and she had to go sign and get her papers out. But when she find out I'm with Elvira, she really get furious over it. But she also showed some, some Iranian documents to a tabloid here yeah. in Denmark, yeah. showing that you weren't were. divorced. So we do have a national ID is like a passport. Right. And that when you get married, the name of your uh, wife or husband is written in that. And it will always stay unless you go and change that document to a new one. So what she showed was that document okay. that was showing that you're married. Yeah, okay. And that's okay. that's I mean, if you get 20 husbands, yeah, one yeah. by one goes yeah, in yeah, there yeah, and yeah, they yeah, never yeah. get destroyed. Or even if you get divorced, it will never be written in there. So it's just out of it was just to. Uh, attack me and make a bad image on me and I think that's really childish you know yeah because she definitely felt some type of way about it because she also uh, accused you and Elvia for uh, mistreating her cats cats were the funniest one that, that because she was keep doing this on his media so if I tell you really what's the funniest story so first she beat it herself and then went to a police, I had to hire lawyers, and the court find out that she she's WhatsApping me until you put your home under my name, I will not drop the case and stuff. So she wanted to take money from me, the, my home and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I told her this is not the way, you know, we're not gonna do that this way. And then I didn't give her the home. I won the case because the court find out this is a wrong accusation. It's a lie. I prove what WhatsApp messages, hiring lawyers. But then when I went to Iran, she has a very powerful father. The, they took my passport. And it's in a corrupt a, system, bro. It is. It is really corrupt. Yeah. It's all about it's power and controlling. Yeah. So at the moment I reached to Iran, they took my passport and the father took over my home. Oh my God. Yeah, man. they took over my home and they let me come out of Iran after they could take over my everything. If they made me sign a fake document that I'm going to give you this much every month. I'm going to do this for you. And even though this is the funniest thing. So I give her my home. I give her money every month. She used all my credit cards, made them empty. And you know what I love about Elvira? Elvira is not about money, you know. She always stayed with me and even we were down that time, really hard times. She was like, don't worry, everything gonna be okay, you know. It's a really good partner, you know. Yeah, man, that's what's making yeah, uh, that's a relationship make, strong. Though. Exactly, that's what you value, you know, yeah, that who you're dealing with, man, because yeah. yes. So she was always true, this shit always stand behind me, to be very honest. So when I came back, even though be giving everything and I was still nice to her, then she started still making, taking my credit card. She stole my car money. It was so much that I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to take her again to the court and say, stop somehow, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So that, that time, that was really hard for us. Yeah, I can understand and, yeah. that. You mentioned El Elvia. How did you meet her? So I have a boxing gym and uh, a lot of people come to my gyms. A lot of we have like different influencers coming to the gym. And Elvira had a good friend that she was living in the Palm Jumeirah. And then I, she came to my gym and she was training. And one day she messaged me that she want to come with Elvira. And she's an influencer. I said, you guys are welcome. So Elvira came with her and trained. This is for three years ago, four years ago. And she trained and... We, we had nothing like just a normal client to me and then she left after three years she messaged me from Denmark that me and my mother want to do a TV show in your gym as a part boxing and I'm like you're always welcome because I get approached from many people yeah. for that and then they come and they train and uh, she, her mom also invited me to a Persian restaurant as a thank you after that and then Elvira told me that I want to find out some stuff. Can you take me to this shopping mall? And, and then I took her to shopping mall. And then we got in, she invited me at night in a yacht. And then we got slowly, slowly to know each other. Yeah. You guys, you've been uh, together for a while now. 
and we're really together. I think yeah. we've been spending every minute. It's <laughs> nice to hear. Bro. Yeah, it's but nice Elvira is hear. like such a great yeah. partner because she always wakes up early morning, even come to me to the gym. I'm like, That's I'm going nice, 6 a.m. Yeah, you coming? <laughs> she's so healthy. Yeah, she's. Why haven't you married her yet? Well, me, I don't think uh, a woman have to force you to marry. You should know the person very well because I had a bad experience and I don't think it's the time until I really know uh, everything about her. Makes, you know? sense. It makes sense. And understand her very well. And I think it needs more time. What do you think her mother would say if you married her? And let me remind you, she's earlier phrased or stated that uh, it would never happen on her watch. The mother, I mean, uh, I respect her. Yeah. She can, uh, um, always mothers are being respected. They have to be respected. And uh, she wants to, she, I'm sure she wants the best for her daughter, but I'm sure Elvira is adult enough to choose for herself the best partner. And what I think the mother would say, maybe if it was first year, she would not like it at all. Maybe now she likes it. I really don't know, man. Okay, because yeah. I've been seeing a little bit of the show. Yeah. And to be honest with you, it seems like they're a bit harsh on you. Well, the show, uh, the, the show came kind of shock to me. It was really surprising uh, because I had no clue that they were going to make a, you know, it was number one without my permission and I was not happy at all about it. I confronted them and it was, uh, it was a bad stab in the back which I got really shocked about it because the people you trust and you respect, if they put a knife behind your back is, uh, is, uh, is, not, uh, is not pleasing, you know. It, I was not happy about it, but I, uh, I also understand her point of view because of my ex was making so much drama on the social media with lies and manipulation about me. I can see that maybe she was stressed and upset about that and worried about that or she just want to control but yeah i understand that but uh, you know um, is that a fact do you know that as a fact because me as a viewer i miss giving a reason why that these accusations are turned against you you know as is uh, i always want to believe the best uh, what the, what the mother wants to put out in a TV, that was wrong and she apologized for that okay. because she didn't know me very well. Okay. You know, so uh, to be very honest, they are my family and I of respect course. them and they were, when I was with them, they were my, like, you know, I treat them like a family and I really respect the family. But uh, I had some, I posted some stuff to my ex-wife in my stories and she thought it's about her oh. and she got offended really bad I just write oh family can be as fake as you know a oh, man in okay. a street and yeah, she thought yeah. it's about her oh, but it was not about her ah, you know so these things packed up and she was looking at them okay, and okay, then she okay. got furious over yeah, yeah, them yeah, and yeah. I that's, understand that that's how misunderstanding yeah. starts yeah yeah her sister Talia has previous stated about you there's something shady about you. You def you're definitely hiding something. You have bad intentions with Elvia, and Elvia deserves better. These are rude accusations in my world. How did that make you feel, Mila, to be honest? To be very honest, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. What she said. Then. Yes, what she said. And I think, yeah. I mean, it's just a mirror. Maybe you yourself are, are a wrong person and you think everybody's wrong. If I am a bad person, I think you're a bad person. Elvira knows me very well and she has all the, I mean, she has all the ways to go out and do whatever she wants. She's not under my pressure or control and I don't have anything against her so she, to hold her, you know. I always help her and I think a couple are very uh, good to be, I mean, we are a good couple to be together. We are very strong together and people can have their own opinions. But we are, we are, we are, we are having a good time. But Talia, I think she regrets it now, and I see her as a good-hearted girl. She come back to me even it was a few days ago, her birthday. We were all the time together, and good friends. I'm glad to hear. But do you have do you have any clue why she said it about you? You know. 
for you to have bad intentions with Elvia and Elvia deserves better. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are talking. I mean, they are women, right? Yeah, yeah, They love yeah, talking yeah, yeah, together yeah. behind about everything. Yeah, but now and she maybe, doesn't talk. Maybe, with maybe, her, maybe, maybe she, she shared it with the, the, the Danish population. That I have a bad intention through a, uh, You have bad intentions with her. You know, yeah. that's, that's a little, you know... That's really sad. It feels like an attack. Yeah, it is an attack. Yeah. I mean, but what is the thing behind it? I have no clue, to be very honest. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, it can be out of anything. I've heard a lot of worse stuff through, about from them. Yeah. You know, that they told about me, but I just... It's just not true, so I don't care about it. Now, Talia, she's always, she, also, she also strikes me as a feminist, you know, a strong feminist with her own opinions, and she's not shy to expose those opinions. Would you agree? That you are a feminist? Now, that she's a feminist. She's, a, you know, she's this strong, you know, feminist with strong opinions, and she's not shy to expose her opinions. No, I don't think so. I don't think really. That's 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 her. Op uh, if they, that's her opinion, she can expose them. And but when they are not true, then it, you don't look good. That's right. Always we say yeah. time tells everything. The reason why I ask you me that is because here in Europe we have the the century of equality and li and liberty. Of course. Which I think is very good. Amazing. Feminism has never seen its better days, and I support equality for men and women. You know, the whole idea with feminism is that women don't have to fit in in natural gender roles. Shortly said, women can live like men. They provide for themselves. If they want to be plumbers, that's okay. Uh, if they choose not to get married, enough to have kids, etc., etc., that's also okay. The point is that no one should judge them for any of their choices. Is it possible for you to be in a relationship with such with, with with a woman with that kind of mindset? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely. Not. And I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's I okay. I think the man is the man. The man have to be the man of a home. He has to control things in the home because yeah. feminism. The moment you have a problem, you run to a man. You want to fight, you run to the man. All the with all the man build all of this stuff, you know. So I don't think really that's, uh, that's not, I don't understand that in my books. Do you support living in a relationship? I can hear you say that you do, but I'm not going to ask you anyway. Do you support living in a, in a relationship with traditional gender roles? What do you mean by that? A man is a man, a woman is a woman. Mm. What do that exactly you mean? Know, the gender roles is like a woman, no, she's the one who's, Who's like she, she? She cooks. She cleans. The man is the one okay, who provides for you, the yeah. home. Okay, let me tell you. But that yes, I agree with that. But I also, I mean, I like my woman to work and be a successful person and make her own money okay. and be happy. You know, it's not like that. I like the woman to sit at home and work, just cooks and cleans, and then I go out and work and bring. I like her to work too. I respect that. I think that's a good thing. Do Elvia live by this ideology of feminism? She supports feminism, but she doesn't live by that ideology. She, she likes, she's very different. I think she's I different than the family. I've seen some scenes from the show where she's like, she's cooking, she's cleaning, she's buying groceries, stuff like that. You of know, course. Things to take care of the home. Of course, she always does that. She makes the best foods. She's so, yeah, she's amazing about those stuff and she does a great job. And she knows how to take care of her man. Yeah, it sounds like a mentally yeah. healthy yeah. relationship. Yeah, 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 it's amazing. We are, we are very happy. I've never been happier and we are, we are really supporting each other. I can tell you an example. And me and Elvira went skiing and she dropped her phone in the middle of mountain. And I went and I looked for it. And she said, it's impossible, leave it, you're not going to find it. And I put my hand in the mountain and I actually got the phone oh my out. God, that's amazing. And then last night, yeah. we were walking in, around the woods for hours, like 50, 10 kilometers. And then she dropped a key down there in the woods, in the middle of nowhere. And it was really night. We reached to the summer house and she said, I dropped the key. I said, there is no way you find it. And she said, you taught me that we can, I should never give up. Then we went with the lights, with the phone in around the woods, and luckily we found it. a piece of key, middle of nowhere, you know? So it's just, you know, uh, I hope you get my point. Yeah, you know? it's I, just, uh, 
I do get it, Milad, and uh, and 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 you also strike me as a as a masculine male. And uh, to be honest with you, you know, we've seen uh, previous some of Elvia's boyfriends. They also been masculine male. Yeah. Uh, the the question is, why do you think it's so hard for Talia to accept that Elvia is into masculine men? You need to ask her honestly. It's, it's, it's just the different people have a different choices in life. She can choose whatever she wants and she can judge Elvira as well. But Elvira knows what she's doing. You know, because for me, it's like, you know, if you are into less mas uh, masculine men or you into masculine men, I think it's more of a sexual preference. Would mm. you agree? Mm. I think she really needs a masculine man if he, she has to try once. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she will like it. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> when I was researching on, on this interview, you know, I stopped at her Instagram profile. And there was a picture of her boyfriend there. And he, if I had to, you know, profile him, he doesn't look that masculine. Have you ever seen him? I can show you a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which one? I, I mean, uh, I'll show you a picture. Yeah. No, but that's not her boyfriend. No, okay, that's not her boyfriend. Okay, okay, then, then that's then definitely I'm not okay, her boyfriend. Okay, okay. That's a, that's. Okay, then I'm wrong. That's her mom, gay friend. No, really? Yes. Okay, because he, he, he didn't strike me as a masculine male. Mm, so, no. so that's so, her mom. Gay but the point is that no one, yes, no one should judge choose. her. Yeah. yeah, no one should judge her. Let's say that she was into these kind of men. That would be fair. No one should judge her. Yeah. My point is. I don't think Elvira should be judged either for that. Yeah, but unfortunately, Elvira is really used to this. And she told me when I was going through really hellfire, she told me that you should just take it from this ear and give it out and don't really care about what people say and what people want to affect your life. You choose what you want. We love each other. If she has a problem with me, she knows my true face. If I have a problem with her, I know Elvira's true face now, by now, you know. Yeah. So it's not like, and she, she, she has a perfect control and she's a really adult on her own life. Even though I really was scared, you know, my ex-wife was very older than me, but the family had the full control over her. They would say, you have to go left, she would go left. You have to go right, she would go right. But Elvira, I think she's now grown up enough to understand that she can choose for herself. All through the seasons, we hear, especially her sister Talia, slamming Elvira for being into masculine men. And in my world, that's a sexual preference, Milad. And I don't think it's fair to judge people upon their religion, the way they look, or their sexual preference. Of course. I think that's wrong. That's very wrong. That's, I think, that's the I think point. everybody understands yeah, that. that. That's, that's the point that I want to make with it. Have you ever stated something negative about her boyfriend? Never. Never. I have never put my head in their relationship. I just try to understand why she would make these accusations. That's why, that's why I asked you if you ever stated something negative about her boyfriend or slammed her. Never. Okay. No, never. You don't think there's a hidden agenda in it for, from the entertainment business? I mean... Uh... All of the entertainment business, they have a hidden agenda. And I think there is, but maybe we never know about it. If you have to, you know, put some words on what could be the agenda, what would it be? Hmm. I, I, don't, I, I, I better not make any comment on okay. that. Okay, then we'll skip. You did an interview with a gossip magazine where you distanced yourself from the TV show. You said that <clears throat> you're not the type of person that likes to be... Uh, okay, let me clear this here. I am not uh, with Elvira for the cloud. I just love her and I think she has a great personality. Uh, I'm not with her because she's famous. I actually told her many times that actually that's a down part. I don't like that. To, uh, I like my woman to be, you know, less popular and less public, but it is what it is now. So if, if I made anything, um, um, I, I also made it very clear to Elvira a couple of times. She told me, do you want to be in a TV and get paid this much and that much? And I told her even if they pay me one billion dollars, I don't want to be in a TV. Okay. And now they're starting to respect that. And now they're starting to remove me out from the TV because I'm not a fan of it. And I, if I want to do something is get money from the ways that I like, like boxing and my, my own art not use somebody else to make money out of it. And I think that's very wrong. I don't know if you know it, but you know, the article in the magazine 
you know, the narrative on it was that you wouldn't participate in the show because you couldn't get paid. No, that's very wrong. Man. That's wrong? Yeah, that's very wrong. Okay. I have never got paid and I never knew that what is going on. Okay. I'm coming from a different country, different city, and I don't and I had no clue about Elvira even being this exposed, you know. I was very like all of a sudden when I first time visited Denmark, I said there's a couple of cameras and I asked her, What are these cameras? Because I had no clue and she said it's my for my shows, you know. And I and I told her it's fine because I had no clue that what's going on really. So there is no, it's not about money at all. And if I did it, it was only because of her she asked me. I thought that. Yeah. That's why I asked you. Yeah, of course. Let's talk about a little bit about her mother. Uh, she also seems very concerned about you living uh, in Dubai with Elvia full time. She said that she doesn't think that the guy Elvia is dating is the best for her. The problem is, Milad, we can't seem to get told why these statements are... are to be honest, out. maybe they are worried about their daughter because she really loves me and I, Elvira chose me. But it's not that a good me. thing? Is, yes, is, is that a good that's thing? great, but, uh, but maybe they are worried the way she loves me, she get hurt. You know, or, or something happens or I just leave because I had a past you know, yeah, so yeah, that, that yeah. things may be really triggers in her Well, life. that's just, you know, that's how love is. You know, people hook up, they break up, they find someone new. Yeah, that's but that's shocking is. too, because I really tell the Elvira mom is an open-minded European woman who understands relationships and stuff, but it looks like, nah, it's not that. It really frustrates me, to be honest, as a viewer. Yeah, I think it frustrates everybody, okay. <laughs> and it does me too. <laughs> It frustrates me that I don't get to, to, to sense why this, these accusations are, are targeting yeah, me. Yeah, it's really bad, I understand. Really I get to stop, you know, so I come very... I just want an explanation. Uh, I come just for Elvira when, whenever we are in Denmark to just have fun, go to the summer house, and I, whenever I stop somewhere, people stop me and talk about it, and they tell me, it just bothers me because I had no clue. I don't understand Danish as well, but it bothers me when I find out people ask me, oh, you're in TV, have you heard what the mom said about you? Or the, what the family says really horrible about you? And I really didn't watch that TV show or don't understand what they really said, you know? So all of this came as a surprise for you? Oh, you know? it was over a night that I was in my Instagram that I keep getting hundreds of messages. Some of them are full of hate. Some of them are like, do you know what they're telling about you? And then Elvira was on the phone with her mom and I went out in a, in a living room and I see what the hell is going on, you know, like what's going on. But the worst thing that it really bothered me was like the mom wouldn't talk to me for months and only she would talk to me because she wanted to put me in that part of a TV. You get my point? Yeah, I get so I was like, Elvira is talking to the mom and the mom said, give the phone to me that I want to talk to him. And I'm like, is she really want to talk to me? Because we were not talking a month. And then I came to know, oh, that's only because of a TV, oh. because the cameras are there, you know? Yeah, she's so, so clever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she's so clever. Yeah. So how... I think that's her business, so yeah. she got to make money. <laughs> how do you and Elvira tackle this situation? As you say, you know, it must be frustrating yeah, but, to, but, to, but to I, discover I, this. I, I, really get, I really got very upset and angry about that. Really upset and angry. But because Elvira was always behind me, even through my ex-problems, I, I really tried somehow to copy-paste her because she was really always behind my back when I was really through bad times. To be, to, to be honest with you, she has your back in the show. Yeah. She supports you. She defends you. She she, uh, she and, always and tell she, me also. And yeah. and what I like about it, she does yeah. it with even though they like they, I don't think they have so they, they don't when they when they talk to her about you they don't do it with manners, yeah. but the way the way she responds them, but that's is, beautiful. Is, is is with manners, bro. Yeah, it's but so, that's beautiful. It's so beautiful to see. Yeah, that's beautiful. Do you think her mom has orchestrated? All of this to put to to pull her daughter away from you, knowing that these kinds of comments will have some bad effects on her daughter's relationship. Of course. She she she. I really think that she done that. Because, she, but what she wanted out of it 
I really don't know. I mean, if it's a breakup. Do, do you really think she's so stupid that she doesn't know because she strikes me as a very, very intelligent woman? So do you really think that she's not clever enough to know what these kinds of statements would do? They, she is, but I think also Elvira is clever enough to, to teach me not to get played by that. I think so too. The reason why I ask you because if she seems so concerned about Elvira, now Elvira, she's not a little girl and she's been in a couple of relationships before you. These guys has obviously, you know, stepped over some of the boundaries yeah. and crossed some of her lines, so she broke up with them. So she, she's, she, she's, she has proven that she's fully capable of taking care of her own and set her own boundaries. Why should her mother be afraid that she couldn't, that she can't do it with you? Do you think the that's, mother did that so they left and they got mad or they no, passed the boundaries? So. I, no, I don't. I think that these guys crossed some of Elvia's lines. Oh, okay. And she took matter in her hands and broke up with them. Yeah, because so she, she has. Yeah. So that's a proof of that she's capable of, of taking care of, of her own and of don't course. let anybody cross her lines. Of course. Why should she not be able to do that with you? If that's she, the concern of a mother. No, that's a wrong concern. She, we, she always have a boundary and I respect all her boundaries. I, I, you know? I know, but my, my question is, why do we think her mother is so concerned about Elvia not taking care of her own boundaries when she's with you? She's been perfectly controlling them in her previous relationships. I really don't know what she sees that I, we don't see. Really, I don't know why she thinks that way. Because when I ask you about where do we think all of these concerns come from, both from Talia and her mother, you keep telling me that they are worried about her. They're worried, but Elvia has proved through like, many races. Like I told you, they're worried because of, of what my ex uh, painted about me, you know, in the media and in all the things, because she's just a psychopath. She was just not happy with yeah, yeah, things yeah, and yeah, she was yeah. trying to attack it. As you said, you're from Iran. Yes. As you mentioned earlier, but you're also Muslim. Yes. How do you feel her mother embraced your culture and religion? Uh, she have her own beliefs, and she she I'm sure she she's not happy about my religion and my culture for sure. Why? She definitely prefers Elvira be with the Danish guy. She stated. Mm, she st um, I'm sorry that I interrupted you. She has stated that she raised Elvia with Christian values. Could, could, could you, Milad, now you've been with this family for some years yeah. now. Can you mention something Christian other than celebrating Christmas or Easter? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not so, what, really. So, so what values are she referring to when she said, I raised Elvira with Christmas. You should ask her. I, I should ask her. That's yeah. just, just, just you're, you're, you're right. Yeah. There's an episode called Mission Rescue Elvia. <laughs> Is it? Is it honestly? I swear to God. Bro. Oh my God. Haven't you seen it? But I think they, I think they, they look at me as, okay, let's keep this listen, guy and then just make good content out of listen, him. <laughs> yeah, they called it, seriously. Because he's entertaining. It, they called it, they called it Mission Rescue Elvia. Let me refresh your mind. It was the day when they knocked on your door and you didn't know that there was them. You actually thought it was the police. No oh, way, no way. Now tell us about, can you like, can you, can you tell us, you know, what happened and why? So me and Elvira just met and uh, we were together and uh, I, we didn't know that the mom and the sister are coming to Dubai. Elvira really wanted to stay in Dubai, live in Dubai. And I knew it's like I come to Denmark and Elvira knows everything in Denmark. I don't know anything. So I knew everything in Dubai, what she should do. I even tried to help her mother because she wanted to buy a home. And Elvira wanted kind of understanding at how to live in Dubai and uh, needed some, I mean, we were good friends and then slowly we were staying together. And I think the family got really worried that I am 
gotta marry her, take her money, and can't leave the country, gotta control her life. And I actually heard that the mother said that to her that, oh, he gotta take all your money and then uh, you have to, even if you get married, you have to give half of your, and this is not true at all. And she knows this is not true. Even if you marry under Islamic law, man should take care of the woman, man should pay for a woman. Even when you get divorced, man still have to pay, leave something for a woman to be supported through life, you know, and that's, facts you know but she i don't know from where or she had no knowledge about it she thought that oh whoever muslims get married under sharia law you're gonna do this and i think it's a beautiful everything about it let's go through some of the things that she said she first of all she said that according to sharia law if a man marries a woman then he owns everything she has and owns no, that's not true. That's not true. I investigated this myself. That's not true that's at all. Fault, right? Now, see, here is the problem, Milad, because when she says something on behalf of a religion or a, religion or a, or a yeah, culture, that's very wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's she's she might be she just maybe Google it quickly and then read about something quickly and then she put it out, which is wrong. But do you think that not only her but also you know the 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 broadcasting behind this show? is accountable or you know, should be responsible for not slamming a religion that concerns course. so many people in the Love world. Love them, yes, of it's, course, it's, and that's very bad. You know, know what uh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, by her being, you know, having a big role in this show, you know, she should have some kind of responsibilities for what she's saying because so many people are listening to her and thinking that what she says is true and right. So now it's not, it's not just because, it's not just her opinion. Now her opinion on what she says is affecting the whole Danish population. Yeah, but... Now they think that this is Sharia law, that this uh, is true, when it's not. Yeah, but people have to investigate, they have to, they have to search themselves, you know. You can say anything in a TV and that doesn't mean you're saying the truth. You know, you can, it's just a TV. You have to you have to investigate yourself. Sharia law is not what a man can take everything off a woman. No, in Dubai that I live have the best uh, economy in the world, most beautiful mosques. The, you, you, when you go there, you, lo you start loving about religion and Islam and everything. You can't just... Uh, women are way more respected than West even, way more, you know. And they have more money than men, some of them, and they control their uh, vice president and control the whole uh, government sections, and it's not true. The point is, Milad, that according to Sharia law, if a man marries a wealthy woman, She's protected by law and government. He can't touch her money. Of course. At any time. He has to give her more money too. He has to be the he provider. Has the, yeah, exactly. Always. Has to a man is of the pro Of course. Furthermore, she said that. And the woman is protected by law. If he is not the provider, he, he, he can be in jail. He has to prove that he's providing every day, even if the woman is multi billionaire. True. Furthermore, she said that. If she wanted a divorce and you kept paying the rent at the residence that you were staying, she wasn't allowed to get a divorce. You could leave her there and you could continue your life somewhere else. No, that's not true. Man. That's not true, bro. Yeah, but these are not true. These are bad accusations. Yeah, these are bad accusations and it affects not only you, but the rest of the Yeah, but we got to make that clear yeah, here. Yeah, it's not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That's it's very, not, very wrong. True. And I think it's yeah, just yeah. a lack of knowledge. The fact is that it's, a, it's definitely a fact of knowledge and ignorance. Yes. It's very ignorant to say stuff like that, Milad, when it's not true. I agree. So, so, so the point is that women are very protected in Islam. And women have their rights. If she wants to divorce you, if she has 100%. a reason, she can get a divorce like this. Hundred percent. So why she try to scare Elvia like this? Because I could see Elvia got scared, bro. Mm, I think the Elvira just Elvira just comes from a Christian family in a in a place that she doesn't understand. She didn't do a research about it, unfortunately. So maybe that's the reason she got scared.
But I, think, but I think Islam values are way better than... Way, way better. Way better. I agree with you. While she was making these accusations, Milad, you were sitting there watching your phone. Did you know what was spoken about at Not the time? Not at all. No. Of course, that would be my red line. And I don't like that for sure. I didn't know even what's going on in that TV show. It's just I go to the Elvira just invite me somewhere and we go and there is two more cameras. So I had no clue about what is going on, to be very honest, you know. And I, when, when first time I found about it, I actually get really upset and I told her never again put the TV in my face. Never again. I don't want to be in none of these shows. Bro, they make you but, look very bad at that episode. Yeah, unfortunately. It's, I'm so uh, sorry, bro. But they make themselves look bad too because I'm still with Elvira. <laughs> <laughs> now, Milad, what really offended a lot of Muslims was Chalia's reaction when Elvira gave their mom a praying blanket as a souvenir oh, gift. Don't tell me about that. So, number one, that praying was a gift to Elvira. And then, let me, let, and then I, I made it very clear. Let me, let me just finish. What, did you know what she said? She said like this. She said, when she showed her the, the praying blanket, Talia said, I feel like throwing up. Uh, that was her reaction to it. Yeah, but that's really sad. And I mean, whoever is uh, understanding this religion and respect it, understand that this... Were this you offended is, by it? Of course, I was furious about it. Of course. But you didn't catch the Some of the best the time. people I know, the, I had no clue what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Elvira brought the praying rug and I told her, please make sure this is not in the episode. And she said, we removed it. Now, what I noticed also in that, in that clip was that the mom, she didn't share the same opinion as Talia. She was actually very political, and I, and I chose to call it political correct. She said, oh, vafint. It means, oh, how nice. Maybe she felt that's nice to uh, praying. I really don't know what's going on in the yeah, TV shows, to be very honest. Know, yeah, Man, I was know, in a total it's shock. confusing, and it starts I was to in a total it. shock that I saw that episode, that part of that one, it just when people start messaging me on Instagram, that I'm getting zoomed on my phone in my hand, and then video goes to Talia, and Talia says, I don't trust this yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 and yeah, all yeah, of this, yeah, it was, yeah, it's very for manipulated. me, was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And I could counter-attack and I could come back with stuff that wouldn't be nice but I choose to, you know. But why, do you, why don't you think that her mom is not honest with her opinion like Talia is because, you know, she's very afraid of Islam. She's trying to scare her, her daughter But I really think, it. but Aziz, I really, really, really think they, they have not a full knowledge about that religion mm -hmm. and they just heard about it, bad stuff, which is very normal, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, I, a lot I of people you. just think bad, raise up. We were talking, I was telling Elvira, when I was in Iran, Christians looked very strange to my eyes mm -hmm. when they said, this is Christian. And then uh, I would think they are wrong people. And then she told me, I would think also Muslims are our terrorists because that's the mindset we get from media, we get from opinions, we get from our family, and they keep telling us we don't know everything, so we can judge it. But when we grow up, we understand everything. Yeah, it's okay. I I'll... think Elvira thinks um, Islam is beautiful, and she's been listening to all the praying every day in the shopping malls in Dubai. I, ag and... I agree with you a lot, and, uh, and, and, and you know, the media has slandered Islam for over 20 years, and uh, so you. I understand her concerns too. If she is ignorant about Islam, then it's fair. But I, th I think she's responsible when she stands up in a TV show and like and and you know talk about Islam without having the knowledge. That's the main, I think. That's, I think. That's the main I think problem. that's uh, you guys have a freedom of speech, and that's why they do whatever they want to do. Okay, so so if if me they slander me, then they slander Islam, then they slander no, yeah, anything yeah, yeah, is yeah yeah, you know. yeah yeah. But bro, we would like people, you know, to to when we 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 love debating with people. We love to you know to. It's okay to have different views on things.
But in order for us to, you know, to, 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 to be sincere about the conversation and the debate, we have to have some kind of knowledge about the topic that we're speaking upon. Otherwise, how can we reach each other? Yeah, makes that's, sense. that's my point. Yeah, that's true. Very true. But again, the media chooses what they want. They may be happy about somebody slandering Muslims and religion. and They want more of that and they buy that and people buy that to watch that. Elvira family, her mom, her sister, and they've been always so generous, so nice, so welcoming. That I have never knew that, number one, they're making this kind of TV about behind my back. And they were so guest friendly and so kind that maybe they practice a different religion. But in my mind, it was like they are, they, are, they believe in God. They are good people, what I see, you know. And I'm not offended by, by, by them, to be very honest, that what they made for me, and I saw, I'm just upset that the point of view that they have is wrong. Listen, I get agree my with you. Yeah. If it's because of ignorance, yes. you shouldn't get offended. Yes, yes. You shouldn't get offended because, to be fair, yes. you know, if you don't study religion, you will never have a fair exactly. chance of understanding. And it's not just exactly. Islam, it's also Christianity, Judaism. Exactly. Every re exactly. religion. If you don't study it, you won't understand it. True. So if you get it, you know, it's, it's, it's no secret that the media in, 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 in Europe, in, in the Western world, has been at war with Islam for over 20 years. So me too, I'm a Muslim. But if I got Islam through the media, I wouldn't want it. Does it make sense? Yes. I wouldn't want it. Yes. You gotta see the people that they practice it. You gotta see, you gotta understand it very well and then you will, you know, it, 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 it clears, it have a clear boundaries. Furthermore, Milad, we have some right... I prayed, I actually fasted so many days. I was fasting until day before yesterday. And I always try to, I've been fasting four years. I, I, am, I practice Islam. I did practice many times and I think really it's a beautiful religion. And I don't see anything wrong in it. And uh, why, uh, why should I even, uh, Elvira is somebody I am with, you know, so it's nothing wrong about it. So I'm not judging people. I'm not being a bad person and say because I'm practicing Islam, I have to cover up my woman and I have to do this and I, like they say, I have to beat her. Nothing, or in, Islam, to, <laughs> nothing in Islam says that you have to do that. No. Actually, yeah. as a Muslim man, is allowed to be married to a Christian woman. Of course. She doesn't have to convert into Islam correct. for you to be married. That's very correct. That's very correct. But the problem is, people, we all, people always make problems with beautiful things. That's what it is. On top of this media, this, this narrative the media has had on Islam for the last 20 years, we have some right-wing parties that's been gaining a lot of power through the last 20 years here in Europe. When we hear those right-wing politicals speak, they speak with a different tone. They slander Muslims, they slander Islam, and they're very good at blaming all of society's problems on Islam and Muslims. So people are now getting used to hearing this and it's getting more normal to talk down and bad and to slander people with a Muslim background. Does, it, does that make sense? Yes, maybe in this part of the world, it I does. understand that yeah. and that's, that's, that's yeah. not where I come from. Or where I live and where I call home is very different. We've never seen so many right-wing parties in Denmark as we have right now. Wow. We used to have one. Wow. That means more people are... More people are sharing this yeah. opinion. Yeah. That's sad. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I asked you earlier about do you think there's an agenda with the show? Because we know that the entertainment business has always been used by governments and other movements to push the population in a certain direction. You see what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe it could be that with these kind of accusations torn against you and against Islam, maybe the show is a mouthpiece for a much bigger agenda. It can be, to be very honest. Like I told you, man, I have no clue 
and I had no clue that Elvira even a TV show. I'm making a TV shows when I met her. I just met a normal girl. I have a lot of blue check girls coming to my gyms. Way more followers, 5 million, 2 million, 10 million. I'm opening my uh, fifth branch with the biggest superstar in Iran. He's an actor and stuff. And I really don't, don't know the influence of these people. It's just a good, nice friendship we had. And it, it turned out that they have a lot of power back here. So when you one day, you know, want to marry LV and you both are ready for it, do you expect her to convert into Islam or can she stay as she is? She can stay whatever she wants to be. She can choose to be a Christian. She doesn't have to... Uh, I know a lot of Muslim girls, they're worse. They can, you can call yourself Muslim. I also think that, listen, that Elvia is, uh, is a grown woman and uh, if Dubai and, and the relationship with you was so horrible that uh, they try to seem as it that, uh, try to portray it that, she would have left you and Dubai a long time ago. Of course, that's very true. Similar, I think it's okay to, to have different opinions and, uh, and, 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 uh, and I think it's important that we talk and debate different views in order to understand each other, it's better. But it's also important to have the right knowledge, to be sincere and to have manners when we discuss and we debate I agree. different topics. I also truly believe that uh, we as human beings can coexist across religion and culture. Like for example, look how your girl is embracing your culture by trying to fast under Ramadan and try to speak Arabic. You know she tries to throw us some yeah, Arabic words. She, she, she cracks me up. So, yeah. it's, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> no, her mother should actually be proud. Yeah. But that's Should a great proud, thing that, yeah, yeah, that's a great that thing. That she yeah. raised such a tolerant daughter. Yeah, and I told her. Ah, uh, it's amazing. And I actually told to her see. about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard some rumors about you maybe starting some boxing gyms here in Copenhagen, Miller. Yeah, I have, I want to do a couple of business. Or but sign yeah. me up, sign yeah, me up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that would be fun. You have to sign me up. Yeah, it. I'm looking for the right places, to be very honest. I don't want to rush anything. I'm learning about culture and who, who, how does the business works here. And I want to be around more and more and more and understand before doing something right away and just work for, you know, no reason. But I think uh, we will do it once soon. What do you think about Denmark? You've been spending a little bit of time here. Beautiful country, very nice, real people, yeah. you know. Beautiful nature. Yeah. I love it. You love it, yeah, yeah? I love it. Yeah, I follow you on Instagram, bro. You just, you hang out the right places. Let me <laughs> say that. <laughs> Mila, it's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Thank you man. so much for coming. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed this interview so much. Thank you. Thank you for giving me Thank the opportunity. Thank you for all the effort. Always there, Thank brother. you, man. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's a wrap. I'm sweaty, bro. I'm sweaty. <laughs>